hello welcome to my channel my name is Lisa today we're gonna to be working on my letter postcards I'm getting very close to the end I think there's only a couple more videos after today's um, I've been working on them for a while oh I need to glue that down um, I have uh, A through MLPQ done um, there's a video for um, every single one of these um, R was done as a separate project that was um, where I was randomly closing my eyes and picking um, stickers out of the um, uh, antiquarian, I want to say equestrian, that would be a horse, antiquarian sticker books. Um, so I had pulled this R out um, to do a tag. Um, so I decided I didn't want to redo the R one because um, I thought this was cute. So all I did um, just really quick is I threw um, the postcard logos on the back with the stamp like I normally do um, for all of those. And um, I threw a couple uh, more labels on the front to call that done. So um, R is done. There is no video. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put those in my pile. And so today we're going to be working on S and T. Um, now S and T are very similar in colors um, with these purples and uh, blues and sort of uh, greens. So I decided to kind of do them together today. Usually I do each one separately because they're usually um, two different colors that go with them. But I, today I'm going to do um, S and T together. Um, what I have done, oh no, don't stick. <laughs> All right, so there's S and T. I'm gonna move these to the side temporarily. Okay, find a spot. <laughs> Put them up there. All right, so what I always do ahead of time is, um, oh, it's preface it. In case you haven't seen these videos before, these are made using index cards from the Dollar Tree. They are the four by six size. So easy, inexpensive um, cards. Um, I glue them onto the back of some sort of digital or scrapbook paper. Um, in this case, both of these are digital. Um, I have um, corner rounded them uh, with the largest size corner rounder for these and ink them because it's a pretty pretty basic step. I didn't think I had to um, show each one of those steps for it. So um, that is what I have done so far on these. All right, I'm just gonna move my, I pulled a whole bunch of labels that I thought would go with both. So I'm just gonna put these to the side for now because I need to stamp these. Um, uh, the colors that I've chosen for these um, to work on, kind of based on both of them is I have Victorian Velvet for a lighter purple. I have Seedless Preserves, which kind of goes with the darker purple. And then I have Faded Jeans, which kind of matches both of the blues. So those are my uh, three ink colors that I have. My corner rounder still laying there um, for those. Okay. All right. So for the back. Let's get the postcard stamp stuck. So for the S card, which is gonna be this one, um, I've, um, I'm using my Tim Holtz postcards um, stamps. I was thinking about using this one because it's got spoky kind of wheels um, in it, which are very similar to the spoky kind of wheels that are in there. So I think for this one, I'm gonna do the blue for the postcard part. Got my finger already. All right, now I'll do my best to try to line this up. This is always a challenge because you don't really see what the picture looks like behind on these. Um, so you don't know for sure if it's straight or not. Yeah, it's a little crooked. Bummer. All right. Hey, it's handmade, right? <laughs> Okay, and then the next thing I do is, boom, is I have these um, barcode stamps. Um, stuck on there, I guess it's just inked. Where I'm going to use um, another color, and I think for this one, I'm gonna use the lighter purple um, to go with that one. And try to center this as best as possible. And then I have um, an arrow stamp that kind of goes, not kind of, it actually goes through the center 
of the postcard, kind of like a when you see a normal postcard or an actual postcard, it has um, a space where you uh, write your message to somebody and the address. So there's usually a line down the center, and I don't have a actual line um, stamp per se, so I, I've been using that one. Okay, now for this one, I think I'm going to use, uh, let's see, that's going to be this one. So this had a lot more flurry, flurry, twirly, twirly things, so I think I'm going to use that one. And... Um, I'm going to use the dark purple for the postcard because this has a great um, shadow of dark purple on it. And then probably the blue for the um, barcode and arrow. Yeah, that's my decision. <laughs> so. More corners. I just keep finding these corners laying all over the place. I hope your day is going well today. Um, I spent my morning at beautiful Home Depot, um, getting some wood for uh, Christmas ornaments, start making those. Tis the season, so almost September. Um, in a recent video I mentioned that I saw um, fall leaves already starting to change color on the trees near our house, so um, it'll be here sooner than later. All right, I post these cards away. So yeah, so I had to get some uh, wood from the Home Depot. So I spent the morning cutting the boards down to fit in my laser. Um, there's a blue, she's right in front of my face um, with my husband this morning. I still feel like I'm a bit sawdusty. Like I still feel a little itchy. But at least that's done for now. We'll be stocked up for a bit. Beautiful, I love that blue. Um, I don't know if you got a chance to check out my, um, I put, post a little short, I don't post them too often. Um, um, but I did a short on um, a ruler that I, not really a ruler, a piece of metal that I found at the Home Depot for 98 cents. As soon as I put this down, I'm gonna grab it. Um, yes, I love it. Okay. Um, I found this, um, like I said, there's a quick short on it, but I'll show you real quick here because I love it. Um, I've been using it all afternoon. Um, it's It says it's a strong tie. Um, it was 98 cents for this 12 inch piece of metal. There was taller ones too. I think the next one went up to 18. Um, but look how nice that tears. Look at the little piece there. Um, it sort of feels a bit sharp, but not sharp enough to cut you. And that's why I thought it would work when I saw it. And I thought, oh, 98 cents, I can try that. Um, I can also make little circles if I want with a little <laughs> stamp or so. Um, yeah, so if you're ever at the Home Depot, it's in the wood section by the lumber, I should say. Um, 98 cents. I mean, um, I've been using... And the reason I didn't show it in the short video, but I've been using this to tear, which is 18 inches, and it like it fits my whole desk, so it was kind of awkward to do. Not kind of awkward, it was really awkward to do. And I kept saying, I need to find um I need to find some. And I did today. Not really looking for it, but um was quite excited. So alright. Now uh, that is gonna be the S. Another corner. Oh, it's upside down. Yes, it's upside down. And the T. All right. Do I want to put anything below it? And you're like, well, Lisa, why aren't you using your tear ruler? <laughs> I want a little, little rougher edge on this piece here. I really want one on that one, but this not really the same purple now, is it? Not that that matters totally, but 
careful where I lay that so it doesn't stick somewhere. Well, maybe I will do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, it's helpful to take the cap off the glue before you go to use it. Helpful hint from Lisa. So when you say to yourself, hmm, I wonder where I heard that from. You can say, I heard that from Lisa. Okay. Lots of spokes on this. I guess they wanted to make it look like a sun. Hence the, oops, hence the S. Now these uh, antiquarian stickers are stickers from that book, but I see them peeling off quite a bit, so I like to put them. Probably shouldn't have stuck that down yet until I figure out what I'm gonna put on there. Can I, can I get it off? Yeah. I was thinking about putting this on there. But I like the blue. I think I might like that blue there better. So now I have something. Bum bum bum. So yeah, those antiquarian stickers, they're, they're not as sticky. I see them peel up, um, uh, unfortunately, too often. Uh, I'll use them a lot in my, yeah, I like that one better. Um, I use it a lot in my uh, Margaret Miller Challenge, because she has a lot of um, quirky kind of prompts. And there's a lot of quirky kind of things in those books, so um, I'll use them a lot, and sometimes I forget to use them do them so fast to put the um, glue down and I see them peeling up after a while so yeah, I think I want a little bit of green there so I think we'll throw that on there and it's a little thicker We'll use a little bit of you. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah. I think I might put this on the back because it has the darker purple. Can find a stamp for that. Okay. Put that underneath there so I don't use it accidentally. All right. Kind of like those two with that. Yeah. I wonder if I got a little bit of. I don't necessarily. Want that green stamp part on there. Could have used it, but the stamp might go better in the back if I used it. So put that there. And lay that on there like that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's get this down first. I uh, told the story about my husband in the belt video or two ago, and I told him at dinner last night that I told the story. And he's like, why would you tell that? I'm like, well, it was funny. It's not like they saw you do it, so. <laughs> he's like, okay, I guess. Like, it was pretty funny. So I guess next time if I'm going to tell a story about him, I should probably 
ask his permission. <laughs> but it was a funny story. I don't know. I, I laughed. Okay, I think I want something little there. And... La Petite Jolel. Too much. Too much, too much. Is there any dates on here? Race course, Latour Blanc. No. Okay, I think I'll put that on there. track the pin down for this because I forgot to pin it. Okay. Oh, move out of the way. Move, 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 move. Move. <laughs> okay. Pin. Focus. a letter T. Yeah, that works. All right, before I flip it over, track down some track down some of my vintage looking tape and it's supposed to be getting to the bottom oh there's a bunch okay put it in the same spot why not Oh, that's the other thing I forgot. Um, I've got my coffee splotches. I want a simpler one. Let's do this one. Okay, let's see. I brought out ground espresso. I think that might be too dark. Let's find... Other twigs. This one's a little lighter. Or this one. And I'm just 
knock these corners off. They look a little too crisp to me. Ooh, almost dropped it. I tell you, it's interesting looking for um, kind of purplish pink. Are you? Yeah, you're a tag. A purplish pink kind of um, ephemera. Didn't think I'd have too much, but um, actually kind of found quite a bit, I thought. So I pretty much did grab everything. A lot of times when I'll do these, and I'll have, you know, blues or greens, I'll just kind of grab a selection of them. Not everything. But this, I pretty much grabbed everything. tone to it. Okay. All right, let's put this on the bottom. Since it's a vellum, it likes to be Temperamental when it sticks. So we gotta push it a couple times. Likes to roll up. So. Now I know this is more like a name. It should go on this side, but since I'm putting the stamp over there. I figured those would be kind of a little heavy on the side to um, put them on that side. So, all right. Now I do have a section of pink stamps. But I can also, like I said, go with the blue or the green. So I don't know if I want to go. do a green one with that one. A very dark green. Maybe black. With greenish undertones. <laughs> now we're getting really, really finicky here, aren't we? Post the Romano. Okay. I like it. So they already have a bit of a circle watermark because I do have, um, upside down, I do have circle watermarks. Oh, one thing I forgot to show, um, I recently um, re-put my uh, stamps um, in a book. So I found these um, on Amazon. I got two of them. Um, they are the 4x, uh, not 4x6, uh, um, Five by seven, uh, five by seven size for um, the photo sleeves. Um, and most of these stamps, the sets that I got from like Timo and stuff, um, are just that size. They are um, six and a half tall by about four and a half. So when I got the five by sevens, I thought that was a great size. Um, I don't, I did not use all the sheets. It filled up pretty fast. Um, I actually got two books for my, um, the other one. Uh, two, two sets for my stamps here. Um, what I did on some of the bigger ones um, that I had full sheets of, I, I did cut them into pieces um, and put them in there. 
Um, so now I can go through and just flip through these um, to find them instead of, I had them in a big binder and it was kind of, I couldn't see them very quickly. And I had to keep opening them and closing them. Um, but if I want a stamp like that one or say pears or something, um, first class, um, I could find them a lot easier. Um, so I just pulled out for today, um, this one, put this to the side for now. And I have this uh, watermark stamp that I'm going to use. Um, but if I wanted a circle stamp, I could have used them. But the two stamps I have, um, I do not need to. But I want to show you those books in case um, you have a lot of those smaller um, uh, kind of stamps. Um, that's a uh, great size. I, I, I don't think it, it was not more than $10 um, for the two on Amazon. I don't recall. But they were... Um, one of the first things that popped up. So yeah, they've held up so um, uh, good so far. I like them. So another helpful hint. My ruler hint in this one. No. All right, so since I got the circle, this may maybe start since I got the circle, I'm just gonna put the wavy cancellation line on these. And I like to use the hickory smoke because um, it kind of looks like a faded black, um, like it's been a little bit worn um, in time. So that is that is it. Well, that is it, actually. <laughs> yeah, that is it. Okay. Well, that went by faster than I thought it would. Um, I guess when you're using the same uh, stamps and colors, um, it doesn't take too long to do it. So, all right. And I've lost my R. Did I put R away? I did. Okay. All right, well, that is going to be it for me today. Um, finished S&T on camera. I hope you enjoyed that. A little blank there. I might want to add some stamp, something stamped there. Okay, sorry. Oops. We are going to add, we're going to add an airmail stamp to each of these. Why? Whoops, because you can. And then I'm calling it done. Okay. All right, so this one needs... Oh, this one needs... Um, and we should probably... All right, so since this is fun and not realistic, I'm going to go with the third color that was not used on the back here. Not the normal color that they would do through the post office, but it is the color that I'm going to use. I really like that color. Seedless Preserves. That is pretty. It's one thing about doing this uh, challenge that I've done uh, for myself to do, I need to light one, of the <clears throat> postcards is a lot of times on my regular journals, I use just a lot of the, you know, vintage photo and uh, brush corduroy and, and basic, basic colors. Um, and I have all these great little stamps that I got of unique colors that I don't get to use too often. So it's fun to be able to do this challenge and add a little whimsy to um, the process of doing it. So yeah, okay, I feel much better now. They feel full. I'm gonna stop because I could keep going. <laughs> so, All right, well that is gonna be it for me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and would uh, like to see uh, UV, WX, Y, and Z, three more videos, um, go ahead and click the subscribe button um, to see future videos. Um, I'm going to be also working on a new journal, a, a waterfall journal that I put together um, soon, um, and a sunflower journal that I have um, need to print some stuff out. So I've got a, definitely a couple, um, uh, let's say programs, uh, projects, that's the B word I was looking for, a couple more projects in my near future. Um, so if you'd like to see any of those, um, hit subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like this video, a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments of something that maybe I didn't uh, explain or uh, you have a question about, feel free to put that in the comments 
uh, I do not mind sharing uh, uh, my information, where I got things, etc. So that's going to be it for me today. As usual, have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.